Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Geography with Joy. This is Subha Lakshmi and we are discussing about mineral resources. Friends, this is my second video on metallic minerals. I hope you had gone through my previous video on iron ore. This is a part of the series of videos on mineral and energy resources. Please go through all the videos to get the complete information about the topic. Do subscribe my channel to get the updates of the uploaded videos. Then without much delay, let's start the discussion today. Today's topic for discussion is on metallic minerals. In this video, we will discuss about three metallic minerals. They are manganese, copper and bauxite. And the outline of the topic is introduction to these three metallic minerals, their characteristics and uses, and at the end, distribution of these minerals in India. Let's start the discussion now. We will start with manganese. Manganese is a very hard, brittle, grey-white transition metal that is naturally found in a variety of minerals but never on its own. It is one of the most common elements in Earth's crust and is widely distributed across the planet's surface. It is a black, hard, and iron-like metal which occurs as natural oxide. Look at this picture. These are manganese. Manganese is an important raw material for smelting of iron ore and also used for manufacturing ferroalloys. Manganese deposits are found in almost all geological formations. However, it is mainly associated with Dharwar system. Coming to the uses of manganese. Manganese has a variety of uses. It is the most important mineral for making iron and steel. Nearly 9 kg manganese is required for manufacturing 1 ton of steel. It is used for manufacturing bleaching powder, insecticides, dry batteries and china clay. It makes steel strong, removes impurities and makes it immune to rusting. It is an alloy and when mixed with iron, it decreases the brittleness of steel, imparts strength and makes the metal resistant to corrosion. It is used in glass and electrical industries. It is also used in preparation of organic and inorganic chemicals, paints, pigments and ceramics. It is used in manufacturing of black enamel. It is used to form a number of important alloys. Manganese is used to manufacture vital enzymes for the metabolism of fats and proteins. It is an essential trace element in higher animals. It aids in the action of many enzymes. Manganese can regulate blood sugar levels and supports the immune system. It is also involved in bone development and reproduction. It is essential to plant growth and is involved in the reduction of nitrates in green plants and algae when distributed in the correct amount. Manganese contains various vitamins such as K and a B complex group which are vital in average human body. Distribution of 
manganese manganese can be found in many places in the country among them orissa is a leading producer it is mined mainly in sundargarh koraput bolangir sambalpur kionjhar and mayurbhanj district karnataka it is the second largest producer of manganese and deposits are found mainly in tumkur ballari shimoga and chitradurg followed by madhya pradesh and deposits are found in chindwara and balaghat districts other minor producers of manganese are gujarat rajasthan jharkhand goa andhra pradesh and telangana indian manganese is in great demand because of its quality japan is a major importer of indian manganese other importers are the usa uk germany france norway and belgium but india's exports are decreasing these days as home demands are increasing due to the expansion of the iron and steel industry next is bauxite look at this picture this is bauxite bauxite is the raw material for aluminum it is actually a sedimentary rock consisting of aluminum oxides it is found mainly in tertiary deposits and is associated with laterite rocks occurring extensively either on the plateau or hill ranges of peninsular india and also in the coastal tracts of the country uses of bauxite bauxite is the main source of aluminum it is a lightweight strong and rust resistant metal it is used for making aircrafts ships automobiles rail wagons coaches utensils etc it is used in electrical industry for its good conductivity it is also used in cement chemicals soda cans and dishwashers pure aluminum is the best material for making headlight reflectors mirrors and telescopes bauxite has limited uses but the wide application in paper making water purifying and petroleum refining it is also used in some other sectors like rubber plastic paints and cosmetics distribution of bauxite orissa happens to be the largest producer of bauxite kalahandi and sambalpur are the leading producers the other two areas which have been increasing their production are bolangir and koraput the other major producers are jharkhand and deposits are found in palamo and ranchi gujarat mainly found in jamnagar kaira surat and kutch chatishgarh mainly found in durg bilaspur and raigarh madhya pradesh deposits are in jabalpur balaghat mandla and amarkanta plateau maharashtra mainly found in kolhapur ratnagiri satara and pune and other minor producers are goa tamil nadu and karnataka look at this picture this is the production workshop with special equipment for aluminum rolling the largest integrated aluminum plant in india is at renukut in uttar pradesh it gets its supply of bauxite from amarkantak plateau 
and Ranchi. This plant is under Hindalco Industries Limited, an Indian aluminium and copper manufacturing company. It is a subsidiary of the Aditya Birla Group. Its headquarter is at Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. Hindalco is one of the world's largest aluminium rolling companies and one of the biggest producers of primary aluminium in Asia. Copper Copper is a reddish gold-colored non-ferrous metal and has multiple applications. It is the earliest metal used by man and is among the most widely used metals today. It is a major industrial metal because of its high ductility, malleability, thermal and electrical conductivity and resistance to corrosion. It is an essential nutrient in our daily diet too. Characteristics of Copper Copper has excellent ductility. It has high conductivity of heat and electricity. This metal has resistance to corrosion and ability to form alloys with other metals. It is completely soluble with gold. It is highly malleable and can be easily joined. It is tough, non-magnetic, recyclable and catalytic in nature. Uses of Copper Copper has a huge range of applications. In the early days of civilization, copper was used for making arms, ammunition, armors, coins, utensils, etc. Look at this copper helmet. It was used by warriors during wars in the olden days. And these are some copper coins. In the olden days, copper coins were used as a medium of exchange too. Copper is in great demand in industrial field because of its high ductility and high thermal and electrical conductivity. It is mainly used in electrical machinery, automobile industry, stainless steel and telephone. It is also used in railway equipment industry and other engineering works like shipbuilding. It is used in building construction for roofing and plumbing. Copper is alloyed with iron and nickel to make stainless steel which is used to make utensils and other objects. It is alloyed with zinc to form brass and with tin to make bronze. Copper is an essential element for human nutrition. It is a natural antibacterial agent too. It can be recycled without loss of quality and performance. Distribution of Copper Madhya Pradesh is the largest producer of copper in India. It produces nearly 57% of the total production in the country. Large deposits are found in Taregaon area in Balaghat district. Rajasthan In Rajasthan, copper is found at Khetri Singhara belt in Junjunu district. It is also mined in Ajmer, Alwar, Vilwara and Chittorgarh. Jharkhand is the third largest producer of copper in the country. Copper is mined in Hazaribag, Palamau and Singhbhum districts. Other minor producers are Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. 
And that's all for today. With this video, we had completed the discussion on metallic minerals. We had discussed about iron ore exclusively in a separate video. And in this video, we had discussed about three metallic minerals, manganese, bauxite and copper. I hope you have understood the topic clearly and enjoyed my video too. In my next video, we will discuss about energy resources, both conventional and non-conventional sources of energy. Stay connected. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and share my video. Thanks for watching. See you again. Till then, take care and have a good day.